an uplifted facade, sensor technology, new gadgets. We're bringing you on a tour of our newly revamped office building. It all started over three decades ago when POSB's Newton branch was constructed and back then it was well known for its drive through banking service. You can see this covered area here. There is one drive through here, a second drive through, and the third one is for the general cars to go through. It's now been transformed with sustainable features to become Singapore's first ever net zero building by a bank. You worked on this building 30 years ago and you're back again to help with this transformation. You know, as a young junior officer then, it was quite an exposure. They used to be only about a meter high and it has grown in the last 30 years to be such mature trees. I was standing here and seeing this thing built from scratch. This two room used to be a bigger vault but we have converted it into offices but there's still a smaller vault at the other side. So this is the vault? Yeah, the vault has been around since day one. This is the door that was up 30 years ago, here, standing strong. Can I knock on it? Oh, you can knock, but nobody answer you. The cash won't be able to say hello to you. <laughs> what? This is one of the original column granite strips. It's a popular feature. Back 30 years, we are still retaining it here. It's a heritage. We decided to renovate instead of knocking down a building and building back up. POSB building has very thick concrete walls. It takes energy and carbon to make that. So by using the building as it exists, we're saving all of that carbon that exists inside the materials. This way. This way. Now heading up to the roof. Here's the magical solar panels. This was just a parapet wall before, but we built extra so we could get more solar panels on top of it. And these solar panels make power as the sun hits the top. Paint it the brown white. Yes, we did. So that when the sun shines, yes. it can be reflected to the bottom. Yeah, it's called bifacial panels, but it'll just give a little extra percentage of more energy. So right now, it's during the day, it is sunny out. So this air conditioning is solar aircon. As the sun goes down, it becomes rainy. It will just switch over little by little onto taking little bits from the building as well. This building, year on year, is going to produce as much energy as it consumes. We call it demand control or sustainable automation, which is we should be delivering energy where there's people. You and your team sit down, the lights come on where your table is, you get up and leave, it waits a minute, and then it turns it off. So this place where you're sitting, and the hallway was air conditioned before, but there's very few people here and people kind of walk through it. So we just redesigned the building and we took about 10% of the space and made it naturally ventilated. We want to enjoy this natural ventilation. Oh. The fans turn on above us. Those basic controls are kind of the other big part of the energy savings here. So why is it important for us to take the weed in this area and set an example? If you want to sustain an economy, you want to sustain a world, we have to be responsible with essentially every square meter of our space. We don't just want to be the best bank for a better world. We wanted to, you know, take micro decisions and say, well, how can we make the best building for a better world? To really renew this building, I felt good about it. Even my son told me that, you know, Daddy, I think you really should do this project. You will not regret it. I wouldn't say so much as leaving a mark, but at least I extend the usefulness of something that I started off. And do you have any fond memories at POSB's Newton branch? If so, we'd love to read all about them in the comment section. See you next time.